So the main event of this show here, Kamara Usman, Jorge Masvidal. One minute and two seconds of the second round. Usman got a big takedown, 241 left of the first round, and controlled Masvidal till it was about a minute left. Masvidal had a good final minute, but probably not yeah. enough to win the round. Yeah, yeah. I, I and it did I not matter anyway. Yeah, yeah. I think I think uh, Usman took the round. So yeah. second round, Masvidal comes out. He's acting cocky. He's putting his hands down. He's laughing at Usman. And then what? Usman absolutely <laughs> killed this guy with the right hand. If you guys have ever seen like a uh, you movie... Know what this was? You know, you know hold on, was? hold on. Okay, You've ever on. seen a movie and you see that guy throw the the exaggerated right hand in the movie and it like goes through the guy's face. It's such a brutal right hand. This was a this was a right hand straight out of a movie. I mean, he just threw this right hand and he spun the dude's head around and this guy is out. He was he was out on impact. I mean, like you like you see like he gets hit. And his body, like, he has no control of his body. Like, he's just, however he was going to fall is how he was falling. There was, like, no control or anything. And and he didn't even know what happened. Well, he was he starting to. to fall straight down, like, just collapse. But he actually got shoulder checked on the way down, which caused him to bump backwards. He landed on his head and sort of started to wake up. But then Usman just hammer fisted him until the referee stopped it. I mean, it was the first ever time that Jorge Masvidal has been knocked out. I think he got knocked out once, like by Rodrigo Dam. Actually, well, I know he they kept claimed he claimed he had never been knocked out before. And fair and square, he said, happened right here in front of my friends and family. But all uh, God bless this guy, he won. And uh, yeah, it was a brutal, brutal knockout. I mean, you know what's funny is is we had. Um, to me, watching this, we had the first and second Weidman Anderson Silva finish on the same card. Because Basically, this, yeah. Because remember, in the first one, Anderson's just laughing at him and just you know dancing around like so cocky, and then Weidman just throws this punch out of nowhere that just knocks the freaking hell out of him, and that's exactly what happened here. And obviously, Weidman had the second Anderson Silva finish when his leg. Literally, nearly fell off of his, like, it, it separated the shin. It was horrible. It was ghastly. And, um, yeah. If you did not see the fight, everybody, there's not much else to say about it. It was, it was 17 seconds of the first round. It's Uriah Hall, Chris Weidman. And the very first move of the fight, Weidman throws a leg kick. Like, he's throwing the hardest leg kick you ever saw. And essentially, his... Shin makes contact with Uriah Hall's leg. His shin stops, but his foot just keeps going. And it practically wraps around uh, Uriah Hall's leg before flying back. The place just goes, they're screaming in horror. horror. He goes down, they show the replays. Every time they show replay, they scream in horror. Oh, it's horrible. And of course, Weidman and and, uh, Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva snapped his leg. And here's Weidman snapping his leg. And poor Uriah Hall looked like he's going to have PTSD from just witnessing this and being part of it. And he apologized. Weid- Weidman's going to have PTSD from this Well, one. he's he's got a whole list of problems. But, oh, that poor guy. I mean, guy. Hall, I mean, could, he, he's just sitting there. He's staring off into space. He's like, he's just, they're reading the, the announcement of him winning. And he's just staring off into space. He's horrified at what he's just been a part of. And this is horrible. I, I I give him credit as far as like his reaction was as professional as you could be, you know. I mean, he was just just basically gave it up for Chris Weidman. And now the one thing about this is, so the crowd. By the way, did you see the the Daniel Cormier Jake Paul confrontation? I saw the. Uh, I mean, I saw what was on the internet. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know exactly what words were said, but Daniel Cormier and him. We're yelling at each other. I mean, Daniel Cormier is announcing, and the crowd is doing, fuck Jake Paul, fuck Jake. I mean, these are loud chants, so loud, all through the show. And um, These fans don't even realize that their hatred for Jake Paul and their chants just got Jake Paul they just make even him more, more over, and he's going to make even more money next time. It made him even more of a star. It's like he's there in the front row, and he's like this giant celebrity like you you know like so much heat and cormier you know i mean he's been name calling cormier anyway 
And Cormier, instead of ignoring it, just walks up to him and puts his, points his finger at him. And Jake Paul's drawn back. And I don't know what he's going to say, but I guess, uh, I'm sure Cormier, Cormier's got his, um, show with Ariel Hawani. And I'm sure he's going to go into detail with this. But, um, and then he was, you know, he made a mention of it later that, you know, he was just like, I don't, you know, I don't mess around. He's like, really, you know, he, he, you know, Jake Paul, like, called him fat and everything, and just, like, I, I, I don't know. It's like, he, he, he definitely wants to goad him into that fight, and um, whatever, you know? I mean, he wants to goad him into that fight. It won't be the same fight as Ben Askren, that's for sure. But um, I don't know that it'll ever happen, but it's probably, if it did, I swear to God, it's probably going to do like two million buys. It's it's just crazy. I mean, the, in the nature of what's going on with the freak fights, I mean, whatever. But um, so yeah, that happened too. What a, like crazy? What a crazy night! And okay, so you probably didn't see the first two fights, but the first two fights were unbelievable. The second fight was would, could win, you know, if every, I mean, it, it may not win match of the year because, you know, a lot of people didn't watch it, but this is this match. I mean, if you got ESPN plus, I'm just telling you like the, the um, where's my notes here? Because it's actually fighters that like most people don't even know, but it was, um, hold on, where is my notes? Okay. So it was Jeff Molina and. Oric, uh, I can't even spell it's a Chinese fighter, but it, um, I'm not even going to try to, I mean, they pronounce it over and over on the, on the show, but this was a three round fight, but this was Jeff Molina won by decision. This was one of the greatest fights you will ever see. It was so great. They're knocking each other down. Like, like, uh, I mean, it's, it's, I'm trying to think to what compare it to. It was, it was, a Frankie Edgar and Gray Maynard won, but but not um, not as one sided in the first round. I mean, they're just going back, and it was un- an unbelievable fight. And then the 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 opener, which is women's fight, Li- Liang Na and um, Ariane um, Kamalose, like this fight was like watching a like the I would I would say like it, it would be like watching one of the greatest shoot style pro wrestling matches because they're just on the ground they're going back and forth and back and forth through these moves and reversals and not you know knockdowns and and you know it's like watching like old but like like it was it, it was like so it it, it it was like like a pro wrestling match. so the first two matches were, were the two best fights on the show by leaps and bounds but the second fight was one of the you know it's just like a match of the year level fight so those two like i'm sure most people didn't see it i'm just saying like go out of your way to see those two fights they are awesome so all right so back to the main card the opener also a leg injury anthony smith and jimmy crute and jimmy crute was actually throwing hard leg kicks at anthony smith for most of the first round yeah and you know anthony smith is is uh you know he's He's literally he's having problems walking because he's been kicked in the leg so hard. But he so did, then with he did, like he did he did really good jabbing though. I mean like he Anthony Smith was you know he fought real well, but but his leg was getting his leg was getting worked over. But he yes. was out boxing him. I mean he was. But the point is he's getting his leg destroyed, and then yeah. with like a minute thirty left, he decides he's going to start throwing leg kicks at Jimmy Crute, and he throws this leg kick, and it hits Jimmy Crute like right in the knee. And all of a sudden, there's like a delayed reaction. Jimmy Crute, he's, he just he takes a leg kick, he stands there for a second, and then he collapses. And he immediately takes down Anthony Smith. And Smith is fighting, and he finally gets to his feet, and, and Crute's literally, he's on one leg. He gets a second takedown. Off, he's on one leg, he gets a takedown. With one leg, he got two takedowns, yeah. So the, the round ends, and they start going to their corners, and... Crute cannot walk. His, his he's, he's leg. Dra- he, he's got. He's dragging his foot. So yeah, his he had, leg is not. His foot does not work. Okay, so it, it's it, it, he's got drop foot syndrome, and uh, Scott Steiner used to have that. Um, but the one that you might, if you're a fan, might remember. Um, there was a 
Bellator fight with Michael Chandler, and I, I forgot who his opponent was. It was several years ago. It might have been Will Brooks, but I could be wrong on the opponent. I don't remember, but I, I rem you know, it was a match where he was fighting for the championship, and he had that, and they had to stop the fight. You know, um, it was kind of a flukish ending, and and you know, this was a flukish ending too. You know, um, Cruz I mean, out there, and he wants to fight, and the doctor's yeah, telling him to walk towards me, and he tries to walk, and his foot's not working, and the doctor's like, "Bro, you." can't do this and he's furious because he won the first round even though he had one leg which yeah. is pretty impressive when you think about it and uh they stopped I actually, the fight i actually i actually i actually didn't think he won the first round but but i suppose you could say he did i don't you know it was he, he did he did get two takedowns and um you know but but i just thought smith did more damage with the with the jazz yeah but he was throwing the he threw leg kicks for the first half of the he, round he, he, he he, he, beating he, he, up he, smith's he, legs two takedowns he, he, you know, I, you could argue it. I mean, it's like, um, yeah, he did good leg. He did good leg kicks. You know, but um, but Smith outboxed him. But anyway, um, he couldn't go on after the first round. That was the end of that. Valentina Shevchenko and Jessica Andraj for the women's flyweight title. Jessica Andraj, no joke, but boy, Valentina just beat the shit out of her. I mean, it was like a violent beating, but it was like five takedowns in the first round, three takedowns in the second round. Got the crucifix. Pounded on her. Referee stopped it. Like, totally one-sided fight. As, as one-sided a championship fight as you're going to see that's, that's, that, goes to, that goes time. And, like, Valentina Shevchenko, like, when you watch it, you're just going to go, like... And, and I, you know, I've always thought this. Like, there's, like, nobody that can beat her in that weight division. She's, like, a completely different level from everybody else. And she really should... I think this is the best that she's ever looked because before she's always been a great striker. And the funny thing is, is that like a lot of people thought, well, Jessica Andrade might be able to, to do something wrestling, which I didn't really think, but she took her down every time with like, like her wrestling was really good. Um, she's, she was a much better fighter than before. I really want to see her with Amanda Nunes go up to 135 and fight Amanda Nunes. Um, I mean, it's happened twice already, but it's all. She's also the only one who can beat Amanda Nunes if she can even beat her. I don't know. I don't know that she can, but there's not a 135er that will give Amanda Nunes a better fight than um, than Valentina will. So that's the fight to make. I mean, like you know, yeah, you could put Lauren Murphy in there, but Lauren Murphy's going to get the same as Jessica Andrade. You know, that's going to be the same one-sided fight so uh that's that's just the fight to make to be competitive and it's and i'll also you know with um shevchenko she is like she just comes off like a superstar that's all i'll say like everything about her like the people like they see her destroy people and then she goes out there and she does her dance and everything like that afterwards and then she just comes off like you know, like like a real big time player. You know, I mean, it was everything. Like to make someone, it's like this pay per view probably did big big business because of the main event. And you go in there as a champion, and you just destroy your opponent, and then everything about you just reeks of stardom. And it's just like, yeah, just get her in. You know, get her in a. You know, get her in a fight with um, Amanda. That's going to be. You know. Right now, it's it's. There's not a lot of women fights that are what I would call big money fights, but that one is. Rose Namajunas won the strawweight title from Zhang Weilei in one minute and eighteen seconds. Just threw a high kick and knocked her into next week. Fans just went absolutely crazy, and Weilei is just like outraged afterwards. She's screaming, she's stomping her feet, she's yelling and shoving the referee. Then they show the replay, and she calmed down a little bit, although she did say afterwards that uh, she, she, was she was still fine. conscious, she said, when the referee stopped it. That was uh, a, a, that was a fair stoppage. Although she also fair... was going to say something else, but then said, I forgot what I was going to say. So she was definitely out. And uh, That was a beautiful high kick, though. I mean, like, just picture perfect. Yep, knocked her in next week, so... Yeah, it was uh, leg injury, leg injury, one-sided beating, crazy high kick finish, and then crazy knockout finish. That's your main card of UFC 261. So if you have a chance to see a UFC card, everybody, and you haven't seen this one yet, even though you know the results, it doesn't matter. Go watch the show because this show was something else. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio... 
We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.